In this video, we will see how we can find the minimum or the maximum value in an array using a for loop. So let's say that we have this array that has five elements. So the first element is at location zero and the last element will be at location four. And this is an array of integers. At location zero, we have 38. At location one, we have 41. Location two, 78, 62. And then the last location is 80. So to find the maximum, the maximum of these elements, we will need to iterate through these elements one by one and check if the element that we are in is the maximum value. So what we can do is actually we can start by assuming that the first element is actually our maximum element. We can start by that and then we start comparing this element with the next element. If the first element is greater than the second element, in that case we'll keep that first element as our maximum. Otherwise, our maximum will be this element. We'll go to the next value and we compare them and so on until we reach the end of this array. So the first step is actually storing the index or the location of the maximum value. So what we can do, we can create a, an, an integer here or a variable that we will store in the maximum index or the index of the maximum element. And since we are starting with element zero and there are no elements before element zero, we can assume that the element or the index of the maximum element is at location zero. Now the next step is to go to the next element, which is at location one. And we can check, is the element at location one greater than the element at location zero? So is this element at location one greater than the element at location zero, which is this element? If this element at location one is greater than the element at location zero, then the element or the maximum index will be at this location, which is location one. So now, since 41 is greater than 38, my maximum element in this array so far will be at index one. So I will change my index here instead of having the maximum element at index zero. Now my and index of the maximum element will be at location one. We'll go now to the next element, which is at location two. We want to check is the element at location two greater than the element at the index of the maximum element? So is this element 78 greater than the element at this index, which is 41? Since 78 is greater than 41, so the maximum element is actually now at location two. So now we are changing the value in the variable maximum index and my maximum element is now at location two. We'll go to the next index, which is at location three. We want to check the element at location three. Is it greater than the element at this location, at location two? Is 62 greater than 78? 62 is not greater than 78. So my maximum element is still at location two. We did not change the maximum element index because 62 is not greater than 78. So my maximum index is still at location two. We'll go to the next element, which is at location four. Is the element at location four greater than the element at location two? So this is my element I'm comparing with. I'm not comparing with this element. I'm comparing with the element at the maximum index. So the index of the maximum element is at location two. So these are the two numbers I'm comparing, 80 and 78. Now, since 80 is greater than 78, so my index or the index of the maximum element will be at location four now, not at location two. Since there are no more elements in my array, I know that the index of the maximum value is at location four. So whenever I want to get the maximum value, I can go to index four and I'll be retrieving that. So if you look at this array, actually 80 is the greatest value we have in this array. So let's try that in Eclipse. Let's create an integer array. So int square brackets, which, in, which indicates that we have an array. And then let's name it numbers. And let's assign it a value using or values using an initialization list. So 12, 15 or 25, um, 16, 78, and then let's actually put nine. Now we have our array. What we need to do now is actually have an index or a location 
to store the index of the maximum element. So I can create, call it max index, an integer called max index. And, and let's have this max index at location zero. So we are assuming that the index of the maximum element is the first index or the maximum element as at, is at the first location. Now I want to have a for loop to iterate through the remaining elements, so integer i. And now I'm not starting at location 0 because I already covered location 0. I want to start at location 1. So we are starting now with location 1. We are checking is i less than numbers.length. And then we are incrementing the value of i by 1 to go to the next element. What do we want to do for this element? So for the current element, we want to check is it greater than the element at the max index? If it is, this is my new max. So if numbers at location i, is it greater than numbers at location max index? If it is, so my numbers at location i is the new, um, is my new maximum. So my max index now will be i, will be equal to i. So let's look at it again. So we started with assuming that our maximum element is at location zero. We are going from one up to the end of the array. If the element at location i, which is at location one when we start, 25, is it greater than the number at location max index? Max index is now at zero. So is 25 greater than 12? Since 25 is greater than 12, my maximum index now is equal to i, which is one. So one is new, my new maximum index. When I'm going back again, we are incrementing i, i is now two. The numbers at location two, which is this number, is it greater than numbers at location max index? Now my max index is not zero anymore, it's one. So is 16 greater than 25? It's not, so we are not executing this line. So my max index is still equal to one, which is at this location. When we go to the next element, 78 at location three, is 78 or the num numbers at location three, which is 78 greater than numbers at location one, which is 25, is 78 greater than 25, it is. So my new index is at location three. We are going to the last element at location four, is the element at location four, which is nine, greater than the number at location max index, which is 78. It's not, so my max index now is 78. So now that I have my max index, after I'm done iterating through the loop, I can print that element, so system dot out dot print line, and we are going to print numbers at max index. So if we try to run this code now, it will be printing 78, which is the maximum number we have. So the max index is the index of the maximum number. It's not the maximum number. It's just the location of that maximum um, number. Same thing with the minimum. If we want to start or find the minimum value, instead of greater than in here, we can just put less than. Now less than, we are still assuming that the first element is the um, lowest element. And then we want to keep or check that the new element that we are at, is it less than this element at the um, let's call it min index. So let's change it here also to min index. So is the element at the new location, is it less than the element at location min index? If it is, we are changing the minimum index to that new location. So now if we run this, we will see that the minimum value we have is actually nine. So the minimum value is nine, which is at location 